Hi guys, it's Rocco here and welcome back to the weekly Lunar Classic video. This week, there's lots to talk about guys. There's been too much drama. The first big one is CoinMarketCap has updated their website. But as you know, Lunar Classic is a community owned decentralized chain. It shouldn't point to one group and the CoinMarketCap have been updated to send people to Vegas's group. So there's been drama around that guys. I don't, I don't think it's as bad as some people making it out to be. I don't think what's been done is correct, but I'll share with you my my thoughts on it and a solution to that. Other big talking point this week is the Terra Classic Steering Committee. Again, another governance drama related topic. That's why I try to stay away from it slightly, guys. I want to focus on things where I can have an impact. So, you know, building Juris Protocol with Luna, uh, Lunatic. I know building a lending borrowing protocol on Luna Classic will help Luna Classic. We'll have things to do on chain. Uh, Juris, you can potentially make money. You know, partnering up with uh, Terra Casino. Again, links are below. If you want to support me, support Terra Casino. Go, you know, if you're betting on football anyway, go bet on the Terra Casino website. Uh, they're burning Luna Classic memes to hopefully have like a Solana type meme coin hype. And and Cat with that is sending guys. I we shared it around 20, uh, 20k. It's around 80k now. So it's already three. Four Forex. So I'll talk about that, do a technical analysis on Luna Classic, Cat with Hat, Juris and, and Bitcoin as well. I'll share with you an uh, overall thoughts on Bitcoin. I'll give you an update on Juris, guys. I've not been shilling the price, but guys, it is actually back to around 10 mil market cap. We dipped. This was literally the low of Judge Rakoff attacking us. And since then, guys, we've been up only, guys. So I'll share with you my thoughts on Juris. And Juris have been working in the background, guys. You know, I've tweeted this. Juris is cooking in the background. We'll share with you some update from ll69 i'll talk about ustc as well so there's big burns coming end of this month and hopefully we can set a set of you know stand away from all the drama that's happening and focus on capitalizing on this huge burns you can see the amount that we that we're going to burn guys so this is huge news and um, there's going to be a ustc repick proposal from ceramic team the white paper will be launched first week of november so i'm excited to see that i've already done a spaces with vegas talking about his ustc repick plan and also us this is staking could be coming up as well i'll wait for this drama to go away and then i'll reach reach out to vegas again talking about the usdc staking and then guys what utility can we bring to luna classic so jewish protocol terra civita terra port mirror anchor protocol is one of the main reasons what made luna very successful could we do something similar on the luna classic chain so that's that's everything that we're going to talk about in today's video but before i get started i just want to thank you all for supporting the channel i hadn't made content for like two years and i started making content again and you guys have been smashing the like button commenting and we got 4k views on my last video so i just want to thank you guys if you enjoy the content keep liking and subscribing it really helps the channel out and if you just comment a thumbs up or thank you or just Lun luna classic burn or something like that it just really helps the algorithm so i really appreciate your help please let's keep going i plan to make two contents now so i'll be making like a podcast style so i'll do a lunar classic spaces so I'll, I'll produce that as a podcast style content on my youtube and and have this lunar classic video i'm also looking at a DeFi uh, as on lunar classic so there's terraport has got liquid staking so I, you guys know i used to love DeFi back in the day so i'll be bringing some DeFi content as well but two main content this weekly video so if you want like a short 15 minute video where you know everything that you need to know about what's happened in lunar classic watch this video if you want a longer form con uh, content that you want to listen to whilst you're in the car or going on a run and um, i'd recommend you listen to that and even better if you want to tune in and ask questions you can join the spaces that i do on a sunday with ll69 so that's everything out of the way let's talk about the key talking point which is announcements so someone called tech announced link USTC holders we've updated github telegram links for coin market cap and first of all i think this is a good progress right there's so many different parts of the community me included i could have done this i could have gone to coin market cap and updated it i haven't so you've got to give tech a lot of credit for doing that it is a good progress because before coin market cap was linking coin market cap website to luna group Groups where it should be pointing to a Luna Classic group, so which is a good progress. So Coin Market Cap is showing a Luna Classic group. I think it's a very good progress. And again, I don't know if Vegas was involved with it, but well done to Tech for doing that. 
The next thing is I don't think it should be pointing to one group. It should be pointing to a a, a group which is included where it's inclusive. So from what I've heard, lots of people on Vegas's group is blocked. I myself is not blocked, so I'm not complaining too much. But I don't think it should be just one part of the community. There's like you know Diamond Hands, Happy Cutty Crypto, myself, L69, Rexy, Vegas. There's so many different parts of the uh, Luna Classic community. I don't think it should be my group or someone else's group. It should be a group that is picked through governance in the uh, decentralized community community and in my opinion a new telegram group should be opened where everyone has an equal chance to share their opinion and who runs the telegram group should be picked through governance so it could be each you know, one person from the different representative from the lunar classic chain but it should be one group so again i don't think we should be going on personal attacks like i've seen some people and i didn't well, i don't want to engage with that again i didn't talk about it too much on Twitter, but I think this is a good way forward. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of it. The other thing is the Terra Classic Steering Committee. So first of all, I think what Ed's trying to do is a good point. We can see the Luna Classic price has just been dropping since the staking went live. So and, and the, if we if the price doesn't go up and we see meme coins and Bitcoin doing well, Luna Classic investors are not going to be happy. So they should be the primary focus. You know, it's a community owned chain, but could some centralization help? I think it could. So I like what he's trying to do, trying to do something different for the Luna Classic chain. But my opinion is, do we need someone very qualified to lead this steering committee? Do we have someone that is super qualified that is willing to do this role? If we have, then great, I support it. But I doubt there is someone at the moment, and I don't think I'm qualified enough to to do this. And and I don't have, um, I don't think I could deal with all the stress as well with different community attacking you. So I don't know if if we've got someone super qualified to do this role. There's you know great people. I'm not having a go at anyone. You know, there's people that have done more for this chain than me. I'm not claiming to to do that. I'm just a you know content creator who's supported Luna Classic since the start, especially doing the marketing side uh, when when luna classic was implementing the burning tax and you know when governance was happening and since then i've supported different projects but you know, i don't want to take credit and i don't think i myself is qualified enough and if we have someone who's super qualified that can lead this i support it but there is risk of centralization at the moment luna classic is a decentralized uh, chain so there's no one entity but if something goes wrong so you, i think uh, rexy gave a good example like if something happens with your bank the bank closes your account if, if something happens wrong happens with the steering committee they could attack luna classic negatively so i think that's a potential risk of having a steering committee but again i'll leave you guys to it I sh i've shared my thoughts i think where i can bring value is working on a project that people in the Luna Classic community will use, hopefully bring investors from other people using a lending borrowing protocol. You know, if we see if we can pump meme coins like Cat with Hat or another meme coin, people will see, oh, this coin on Luna Classic is pumping. Let me buy some Luna Classic coin. Let me go use it on Terraport. Let me go use it on Jewish protocol. So this is where I think I could add value. That's where my focus is. But let me know what you guys think of a, of a Terra Classic steering committee. So guys, I want to talk about Juris next, guys. So I've not really shilled Juris too much, but I can assure you, guys, LL69 and Frag, and the team is cooking in the background. I've seen some of the th things that they're building. Again, sh keep building LL69 and Frag and, and the Juris protocol team. I'm really excited to see what they're cooking. And hopefully in the next few weeks, I'd say by mid-October, um, mid-October is now by early November, we should be able to make a big announcement that will hopefully, uh, you'll, you'll see a price impact. But the price of Juris is doing so well and um, I'll, I'll talk about Bitcoin guys before I do uh, Luna Classic because it's more linked to um, more linked to the, the Luna Classic price is more linked to uh, Juris um, let me get my thoughts correct Luna Classic price is more linked to Bitcoin than Juris Juris is more like an on-chain so if things happen Juris can still do well whilst Bitcoin isn't and we've seen you know Juris literally got sent in may and i'm sure bitcoin wasn't really doing much that's what was bitcoin doing back in may so you know bitcoin wasn't doing much in may and we saw jewish just go parabolic so for a low cap can pump but luna classic is more linked to bitcoin again from a trading point of view price is up uh, about 300 percent if you look at this chart that i shared with you back in august it's literally hitting the target that i said i expect some chop and hopefully we can you know find a new floor where the price consolidates around 10 million that will be amazing for for the project 
update from LLC and there's been some restructuring going on so he's at, he's been having meetings with the team they'll keep delivering what we promised while somewhat meeting the deadline so I'm taking the next week off from a regular day job to finalize uh, work procedures and set up a proper structure for jury so that's going to be happening next week and I'll be supporting where I can to LL69 so that's an update on juries guys and uh, the key things i mean one of the key things i'll be uh, working on the jurors is like getting an exchange listing i want to time it correctly with uh, when the protocol uh, you know is we have a test net or we've got the dev work going on to maximize the interest uh, on being listed on an exchange as well so that could help the price as well so you know there's lots of things going on there's marketing side there's development side there's the legal and money side so lots of you know plates to balance and plates are spinning and m making sure they're all aligned is really important for the investors and the price to go up i've touched on ustc guys so there's the vegas uh, proposal i've talked about there's the ceramic pro uh, update that's going to come uh, first week of november i'll read the white paper and i'll be doing a video on it explaining to you everything and also do a spaces hopefully with them as well but there's lots of burns coming i've asked people if they've worked out so maybe i'll reach out to mortadello and ask try and figure out uh, the exact wallets from my understanding the lfg funds and these funds on this, uh, um, what's left on there. So if people haven't withdrawn from the shuttle bridge, currently there's about, you know, you can see the amount over two bill, 250 billion LUNC, which is a significant sum uh, on, on Luna Classic and USCC. That could be a huge burn. I would recommend you go watch this video. I go into a lot of detail on the exact amount of coins that will be burnt Um by uh, L um, by LFG and TFL, but uh, there's still uh, uh, there's been numbers that I think that will be burnt. Some other people have been burnt. Uh, think that will be burnt. But what we know for definite is this is gonna be burnt on 30th of August, which is a huge amount. On top of that, there's some talks on reducing the USTC um, uh, staking rewards and burning it. Uh, I think that's a good idea because I love. I think for Luna Classic can do a 5x, you know, maybe a 10x, but for it to be like top. 20 coin again we need to do something with the uscc repeg and i think that will be a, f a good step in the right direction if we can um uh, start burning more USTC. so burning USTC in the in the pool and and stopping the staking rewards can help re can really help with the USTC repeg and then USTC um the repeg plans we're talking about could you know be launched on the back of the success so that's what i really want to see happen guys Finally, guys, I talked on the different use cases. So, a Jewish protocol is 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 building anchor protocol. I think from the rumors, what I'm seeing, Terraport might be building like a mirror, uh, mirror type. A project where you know is synthetic stocks type trading that we used to see on mirror could be available as well there's also liquid staking available on uh, terraport guys so i'm excited to do some videos on that because you guys know i'm really excited into DeFi. i used to make lots of DeFi content back in the day and with what's happening in luna classic i think that could be another use case again i'll stay i'll let other people people smarter than me deal with the governance side if i can build one protocol that brings lots of utility or not build it myself support a protocol brings i to that protocol i'll be really happy so there will be a liquid staking video coming up go check out terraport finally guys i want to talk about the big burns that's happening so cap with hat i've already shielded it a few times guys it's up forex from since i've been shilling it so terra casino has confirmed buyback and burns to support luna classic have started to re reiterate this is not a burning off dormant supply this is actually buying back demand and then burning we can already see from the price of cat with hat breaking new all-time high so you know all these burns i'm talking about for for luna um uh, for tfl there's a burning of dormant wallets which is great in the future there's not going to be new supply hitting the market but it doesn't affect the straight away short-term impact if you buy and then burn and when something such a low cap so i've done the analysis for jurism mean, cat with that is already trending something like, uh, like a low cap coin like this it can really accelerate and we've seen the price going up so much over 10x already because of that so i'm really excited to see what what can happen how can it go i mean i'd love to for it to go to 1 million and the reason why i really want to push it and i've bought some guys and it'd be great if it goes to 10 million i'll make a lot of money but even if i don't make money what my main focus is if we can show coins pumping on luna classic that will bring eyes we've seen what's happened with solana and that is the main thing guys this is not just about cat with hat and you know i like the guy who's who's the founder of cat with hat i support him i support rexy so 
support Terra Casino. But on top of that, guys, with this support from Terra Casino, if we can start a Luna Classic meme coin hype, that would be amazing. So whether whatever projects you're building, go buy some cat with that. Because if we can see one coin pumping, it's going to bring investors and new money into the ecosystem. And that could be another bullish catalyst for Luna Classic on top of Jurius, Liquid Staking and other, other amazing projects. So excited to see what happens here, what we can do. And um, yeah, if you want to support myself as well, I've left the links for Terra Casino. I've partnered up with them as well. So um, go use Terra Casino. All the Terra Casino or every trade that you put on on Terra Casino, every bet that you make or games that you play, it burns Luna Classic on chain, which is really exciting as well. So with with more burns coming from Terra Casino, expect to see the, go go expect to see this go a lot higher and bu and bullish Luna Classic memes, not just Cat with Hat. This is the hype. Blue chips like you know Jewish breaking out, Cat with Hat other memes breaking out you know this is really exciting for the luna classic community and hopefully you guys are making money guys i shared this about before it's shared it like you know 20 is 4x below so you could have been up three forex already but you know don't be jits like one of the things that i've learned from solana ecosystem is like telling investors to like hold for a lot higher targets if people like take profits for a hundred dollars five hundred dollars one k you know it's very hard to push that and terra casino's already uh, bought and bought back a thousand and we can see the big green candle and with more burns coming if more people from outside the community comes in and buy some this could easily go to a million and we've seen what happened uh, with other coins as well so let's see what we can do with cat with hat if you've got any ideas how to push this meme coin narrative and you know hopefully pump cat with hat but not just cat with hat how can we you know push this meme coin narrative you know whether it's support terra casino whether it's supporting cat with hat let us know in the comment section below if you are a builder of uh, meme coins or founder of meme coins reach out to terra casino if you want your coins burned and pumped like a cat with hat so that's the video guys i believe i've covered everything all the news if i've missed out anything let me know in the comment section below my dms are open on twitter as well so before i end the video with doing a technical analysis on luna classic let me talk about the price of bitcoin and i'll probably just share with you just three links to to three uh, price levels on bitcoin the first one I want to talk about is 58k. So we've seen 58k support, support, support. Whenever we've sold below 58k, we had big spikes above, as we can see. So 58k for me is like a big support level. If you go on to the monthly charts as well, we've had a monthly close there, weekly support. So as long as we're holding above there, I'm happy to be long. I did take a long round here for Bitcoin with a nice little rally. So that's the key main support. So as long as we're above 58k, I'm bullish Bitcoin. If I want to be really bullish on Bitcoin, if you or if you're waiting, I wouldn't buy Bitcoin here now. If we start seeing this next week and we start breaking back above, I think I'll be looking to buy a position above 64,500 or 65k. So that will be a nice little trade from here to here. After that, I mean, I think if it breaks here, we break this as well. But if it breaks here, I'll be looking to buy even more Bitcoin. I think I've I've had this line here for a while since we had that sell off. I've said that if we get break above 70k. I think we're going to we definitely go to new all-time highs and very likely we go to 100k and hopefully we have our ducks in order for Luna Classic, Cat with that and Juris and that's you know when I, the analogy that I gave about uh, spinning plates if that if we can time have our ducks in order for when Bitcoin is breaking into new all-time highs that is when Luna Classic can go to the moon I won't do short-term analysis for Luna Classic I'll just share with you um uh, the high levels and it's not really changed the breakout level is this we had a fake out you know bitcoin sold off and that didn't really see a big breakout and follow through if you took that trade you probably took a loss for now i think we could potentially be testing this support again so if you are if you're a short time frame trader we can look for a trade here if not i'll just wait breakout back above here buy if we have a big sell off below um below like 40 50 percent sell off around here look to bid i bought some here um if it comes back to here, um, I think that could potentially be the bottom uh, in Luna Classic before the next bull run. So those are the key levels so around the 5,500 level. It's a long time frame support if you're more of a swing trader, spot trader or a hodler. If you're looking for a short time frame trade, you could look to potentially trade off this support or wait for Luna Classic to get 
kill the zero and hopefully this time we get a real breakout with bitcoin above 65k that could be a nice trade as well so that's the video guys thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed it hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already listened to the repeg plan or you want to find out how long it will take to burn the six trillion luna classic coin go watch that video now thank you very much and i'll see you guys next week